He was a tall man and blue eyes, fair complexion, uh, erect, and a uh, very handsome man. He's reported to be the most handsome man in all of Tennessee. People seemed to rally around him. He was a strong military figure, a commanding figure. And in many ways, he, he was similar to the figure of, that Washington was to the nation as a whole. He arrived in 1771. He won the hearts and captured the imagination of the pioneer. He was a champion of the common man, a lover of freedom, a lover of land. In John Sevier, we can see what it is to be an East Tennessean, and we find our greatest hero. John Sevier was Tennessee's first governor. He was elected for six terms. No one has served longer. But he performed his greatest service in the field of battle. 35 victories with no defeats. He led the Watauguns to victory at King's Mountain and helped turn the tide in the American Revolution. One of the most important factors on the early Tennessee frontier was security and safety. And those who were able to protect the settlers from the Indians and those who were able to defeat the Indians were the heroes, and John Sevier was the greatest soldier on the Tennessee frontier. But he earned more than respect for his victories on the battlefield. He earned land, 300,000 acres for military service. He once owned this entire block in downtown Knoxville, and in the basement of this house on Walnut Street are the bricks from the foundation of the dream home Sevier was never able to finish. But he was able to finish this one. It's an unassuming structure. It almost seems unworthy of it. But living here in Marble Springs was a most uncommon man. With 18 children of his own, he once gave away 50,000 bushels of corn during a depression. He kept a diary where he recorded and tried to interpret his dreams. John Sevier taught himself French, kept in tune with world affairs, and wrote his own dictionary of the Cherokee language. Sevier was a man far beyond the frontiersman. He was involved in so many things uh, as a realtor, a surveyor, a city builder, a, a state builder, a soldier. He had captured some Indians, <laughs> and uh, uh, he liked, they, the Indians liked Bonnie Kate's food so well that they stayed for a whole week. <laughs> Can you imagine this? <laughs> so he had to finally run them all, I think. At the time of his death, his personal effects were valued at less than $300. The last and happiest years of his life were spent here, a place more like the man than we realize. Every state has its frontier heroes. Every state has its great men and, and women from the early period, and John Sevier is one of ours. He was a strong man. He, he is our frontier hero. John Sevier died in 1815 while surveying Indian lands in Alabama. He lies here at the Knox County Courthouse. He is a lasting example of the best that is within us. What inspired John Sevier still inspires East Tennesseans today. He shared a deeply rooted love of the land with a boundless devotion to its people. From this, heroes are made.